Alrighty, we finally have a construction update on West Coast Racers at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and I couldn't be more excited because things are finally starting to look amazing. So, uh, we're a little behind in reporting that supports are on site, but for those that don't know, supports are on site. Um, and they each represent which one they are along the ride cycle. So you have column like 212. That's like, I'm assuming it's like column like the second side of the track. And the column 10 is like literally column 10. Um, something along those lines. I'm assuming it goes up to like 100 on one side and then the 200s will be the other side of the track. Um, but that's just a wild guess. Um, but that's my guess. Um, but other than that, supports are on site. And finally, footings are being worked on. So they're building rebar cages for the footings that they'll pour cement and concrete um, to form these footings for the coaster. And then they can start vertical construction. Now, depending on the cement and concrete that they use, the curing of that cement and concrete um, is various. So some are literally 24 to 48 hours curing. Some are literally 28 days curing. So Yukon Striker is a classic example of this. In the early days of construction, if you remember with my remember me with my camera in the park, those were 28 day long curing process. Um, then later on the construction progress, when they needed some of those footings done, or there was a problem that needed to be fixed quickly, they used the 24 hour, 48 hour curing concrete. Um, on those footings. So it all depends what Six Flags Magic Mountain is paying for, for vertical construction. Are they going to use the 24, 48 hour curing concrete, which is more expensive, or are they going to use the 28 day curing one? Um, there's probably various ones in between two cost wise. So it all comes down to what Six Flags is willing to pay for the footings. So it could be a long time before we see vertical construction starting. In fact, we haven't even seen one footing poured quite yet. But based off of what I'm seeing rebar cages wise and comparing it to other construction projects, we're going to see footings poured any day now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Parks Bros release a video in the next couple of days going, we have a footer. Um, and I'm really excited about that. Honestly, if you want to get daily construction updates or very frequent construction updates, go check out Parks Bros on YouTube. Definitely subscribe to them. Absolutely love their content. Um, and they definitely are doing a fantastic job of keeping you up to date on Six Flags Magic Mountains West Coast Racers. Um, but here you are. There's all these rebar cages. They're ready to go in the ground. They're ready for those footings. Um, and it looks like this coast is going to have an absolutely large amount of footings. I When I saw that column 212, I was shook. I did not even think that this coaster could have that many uh, support columns um, on the ride. So that's going to be weird. I didn't suspect that, and I'm kind of like trying to picture how that would look. Um, but yeah, there's definitely lots of construction going on around the park now. It's good to see. Um, and finally, hopefully, maybe sometime soon, we'll see that vertical construction starting depending on, again, the concrete they're using for the footings. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick construction update on West Coast Racers at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.